don't do these five mistakes as a student with AI power tools like ChatGPT, Bing or Xenochat. AI assistants have become incredibly popular and useful in many areas of our lives. So it's no surprise that also students started adopting them for their school assignments. But before you start relying on AIs too much, there are some mistakes you should really avoid at all costs. Keep watching to find out the top five mistakes to never make when using AI for your schoolwork, essays and papers. My name is Dominic and I'm one of the co-founders of Text Cortex, one of the top 200 early stage AI companies here in Europe. We are building your next level AI companion. And before jumping into the topic, if you're a student, check out the Text Cortex for Education program. This includes a free trial period and an exclusive discount for students as well as educators. Link will be in the description. So let's jump to the first mistake in our, on our list. Own your thoughts, own your thinking. You can ask AI assistants to come up with the ideas for your essays and the academic chapters. However, take them as inspirations and bring in your own thought work. Own your original ideas and build on top of them together with the assistance of Zeno. For example, let me show you how I collaborate together with Zeno to write three paragraphs on the UK's legal system. Important when prompting Zeno is that you follow well understandable instructions. Those usually consist of three fundamental components, an action verb like write, a format being the three paragraphs as I prompted, and lastly context on what Zeno should write about. In this case, it's a topic about the UK legal system. After a short time of consideration, Zeno will give you an idea about your topic. In the next step, I can also collaborate with Zeno to make it sound more academic. This leads to my second point or the second mistake I see people do is don't copy and paste everything bluntly. If you just copy and paste everything, it is not going to help you, neither the scientific community. Even though the content is not plagiarized, there are now AI content classifiers that can spot AI written text. And these AI detectors uh, can be as bad as doing plagiarism basically. Instead, make your own edits and use your own sentences to form the whole essay. Do not fully rely on AI-generated content. The third issue comes from the compulsive reasoning of these new AI tools. Current AI models are masters in conveying their message very confidently, making it sound plausible, but can be in fact completely wrong. Always cross-check the truthfulness of your statements. And to make myself also sound a little bit more academic now, in addition to the third point, one can argue to always make sure to cite everything and give references as AIs currently cannot do that. I can just repeat myself, don't let ChatGPT or Zeno be the only author of your work. While they can help you improve your writing, it doesn't provide sources for the output it provides. So beyond placing your own scientific creativity, do your homework and find supportive arguments from existing research on common platforms like Google Scholar. The fifth mistake, and this is more general advice, do not use them to create biased or offensive content. It's true that AI models are getting better and better at understanding more sensitive topics, but when it comes to potentially biased or offensive content, we need to act careful and responsible as a human being. So if you have a doubt about the accuracy of an AI system on a controversial topic, play it safe and do your own research. So if you're ever in doubt about the accuracy of an AI system on a controversial topic, play it safe and do your own research. And this is it. These were my five advices or the five mistakes you should avoid as a student when dealing with tools like ChatGPT or Xenochat. Sign up to our newsletter to get a copy of the ultimate guide to Xenochat with a hundred useful prompts to work around Xenochat. Link will be in the description. Thank you very much subscribe to our channel, like and share the video and comment any content topic or whatever you have questions about in the comment section below. Cheers and see you in the next video.